This episode has been brought to you by Let Me Plan Your Life. Could you use a little more guidance? Let me plan your life. Click the link in the description to learn more. Hi everyone, today we're talking about the hedonic treadmill or why it's important to find joy now. The concept of the hedonic treadmill is basically when someone consistently says, I will be happy when whatever the thing is. And then when that thing happens, they're not happy because they'll really be happy when the next thing happens and it just keeps going and going and going and they never get to be happy. So here's what an example might look like. A teenager wants to do theater and says, I'll be happy when I'm in a theater production. So the teenager is in a theater production of whatever the show is. And they say, well, the, you know, this is only a theater production at my community theater. I'll really be happy when I'm either doing theater for like a real company or when I'm doing extra work and I'm auditioning, I'm getting paid for it when, it, you know, when the stakes are higher. So they turn 18, they graduate high school, they start doing extra work or they start auditioning for things and they start saying, I'll be happy when I get my first co-starring role. Well, now they become a co-star and they'll say, well, like this is only one co-star role. This is just a fluke. I'll really be happy when this is a consistent thing. So then it is a consistent thing, but they're not happy because like, it's just co-stars. It's not that big a deal. I'll really be happy when I get my first guest star. And guess what? They get their first guest star, same thing. It was just a fluke. So they start continually getting guest stars, but you know, they're, they're not that big a deal. They'll really be happy when they get their series regular. And they finally get that series regular role and they should be happy and they aren't. And they, they say, maybe I need an award. Maybe I need a this, maybe I need a this. And the problem isn't that they're not meeting the goal. The problem is that they're not letting themselves be happy for the goal that they've met. They're not letting themselves be happy for where they are in their career trajectory right now. At some point in your career, you may say, five years ago, this is where I wanted to be. And if this is where you wanted to be five years ago, you should be happy. This is not to be confused with toxic positivity where that's just like being happy all the time. Also, if you never feel like you've officially made it, if you can never enjoy the moment that you happen to be in, you are more likely to experience imposter syndrome. You're more likely to say, well, you know, it's not that I'm special and talented. It's just that I got an agent and I took headshots and I auditioned. So like, yeah, that that's how you, that's how you work. This is just a very long winded way of saying you don't want to be 40 years old, 50 years old, 80 years old thinking, Huh, I really should have been happier in my 20s. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Follow me on social media. If you have a question, leave a comment, and I will see you all next time.